All right, today we're going to be trying out a guitar pick from a company called Gunas. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, and um, uh, this is their logo right here. And um, I was just, I saw these advertised um, probably as I was scrolling Instagram or Facebook, I don't remember. And I thought, well, well, in their ads, they say that they never, you never drop them and they don't slip and they don't spin as you're using them. And um, so I was like, okay, I gotta try. Um, and they're not terribly expensive. I think 10 of them were like $20. So uh, that's not crazy. I mean, it's more than, you know, you're going to pay for your, you know, Fender flat picks. But all right, there they are. All right. Oh, they're like vacuum sealed. Huh. And yeah, they do have a definite shape to them. So yeah, we will, uh, I'll take a picture of this before I open them up. Um, or uh, the, uh, this part of it. I mean, this just picks. So you can see what this up here, up here says too. But, um, yeah, it's just, it says that's the most comfortable pick in guitar playing history. <laughs> well, we will see. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get these opened up and uh, grab my old, uh, oh, I always use, uh, or I usually use um, Jazz, Dunlop Jazz 3XLs. That's, like, been my go-to pick for a, for a long time. And I asked them what would be something comparable that they have, and this was their response. So, we will have to see if that is true. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get these opened up and um, then, yeah, start playing and tell you what I think. All right. Now, if you look at these close up, you see that one side is, uh, and I'll take some close up pictures too, but one side's got this curve in it and then one side is flat. And it says uh, on the thing, if you, uh, which I took a picture of, I think I showed that to you already. <laughs> if you uh, want it to be a longer feel, then you put your thumb in that groove. And I can see what they mean by that, because it does make more of it stick down, which I thought maybe would be better for, you know, strumming and stuff. But uh, if you want it to feel shorter, then you flip it around and you put your finger in the groove. And for me, it kind of just makes my finger go straight down like that, and then you just get a little bit of the pick sticking out. So uh, that is, is the way so far. I played with it for just a little bit. And to me, that's the way it feels better to me, um, because I'm used, used to uh, using those smaller picks. So... <laughs> for a little while like I said and um, doing big strumming stuff doing you know more intricate picking stuff and I haven't dropped it yet and um, that groove does keep it from spinning um, and I was getting holding it pretty lightly where I think the other pick were you know my normal uh, Dunlop would have probably fell out of my hand and these haven't I mean that is uh, definitely uh, doing what is advertised so uh, so that's cool um, it is definitely a weird shape to get used to and um, I uh, like I say I've been playing around with it for a little while maybe 10 minutes and um it's, uh, it still feels weird. <laughs> but, uh, that being said, if you, uh, if you use it a lot, I'm sure you can get used to it. Like right now, when I'm just playing, I'm pinching it just, you know, I'm not really having my finger in that, so it feels more like a standard pick, but my, it's still, you know, I'm still not dropping it, so that's cool. <laughs> Like I've said in many of these videos, I should warm up before I do these. <laughs> but my playing isn't the point. It's um, checking out this pick. Um, and um, yeah, so far, um, I think it uh, definitely is what it's advertised. It definitely, uh, definitely, definitely. It, um, I'm not dropping it, and it's not spinning, which is what it does say. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep playing around with them. Uh, maybe I'll do a little video in the future, a little short or something, to let you know how it after I've used them for, you know, a lot longer of a time. But um, right now, I think if you got used to them, you, uh, yeah, I definitely think that they uh, they work really well. Um, and, uh, yeah, only time will tell if I actually uh, start using these more than my, you know, regular picks. I'm going to do this, like, um, something on the packaging about the end of these. Or maybe it was on the website I saw. 
that it uh, has this uh, smoother end right there. And um, I'll post a picture of what they talk about on the website too about that. But um, yeah. Um, so. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to keep playing around with them and uh, see uh, what I think after a more extensive use and um yeah but it's definitely something cool to check out and um so um shopping around for boutique picks um you're you're gonna spend you know some of them you know you could spend five ten dollars a pick you know for these they only ended up being you know like about two dollars a pick so it's definitely a you know not a very expensive um just to try them you know just to see if something is different but uh yeah anyway i'm gonna keep uh Keep babbling about picks, evidently, because that's what I do. I babble about guitars and guitar-related shit. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going to get out of here, let you get back to what you're doing, and um, I am going to just keep playing with these and let you know what I think um, sometime in the future. But um, until then, thank you for watching and uh, clicking and hitting the like and give me a comment and all that other stuff that you do when you watch these videos. And um, yeah, I'll let you get back to what you're doing, and uh, see you in the next video.